let's play this. You, you can only see this, and it's only available on Daily Wire Plus. Now, has 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 uh, Jingle Smells come out? That did come out on Thanksgiving. Jingle Smells did come out? All right. We're going to have to do a watching of, of both these, maybe. Um, and maybe I should watch it with Saul. <laughs> Do a commentary track? A commentary track <laughs> with my 10-year-old son to see if this is... Um... Now, if uh, Lady Ballers... I, I mean, I think you can probably figure out uh, what this is about. It's Juana Man, uh, yeah. 2024 <laughs> or three. Or, you know, imagine if Some Like It Hot was done by a bunch of talentless people. And it wasn't musicians, it was sports. Or Bosom Buddies was not about housing uh, and was done by talentless people. Or if Steven Crowder wrote a basketball movie. Or uh, let's look at Steven Crowder first. I just want people to remember this is what uh, there is. This is what has been in the uh, comedy genre for years. Steven Crowder did this and he's got to be pissed. When did he do this? Scroll down there. Uh, it's got to be like 2014 or something like that. Yeah, Steven Crowder was on this beat a long time ago. This is eight years ago. Yeah. Um, here's Steven Crowder, uh, dressing up like a woman and telling tell the cameraman to get his butt and, um, going into a planet fitness and upset that nobody seems to give a crap. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had forgotten how utterly stupid this is. Yeah. Maybe yeah, just jump a little bit ahead of <laughs> Mata Walk is doing. Hi. No one cares. Hello, how are you? First timer. Oh. I like everything color branded. It's so I feel like I stepped into Star Wars. Great joke there. Do you have you don't have a squat rack at all? Okay. That's, that would be the closest employees. thing. Forget that. I forget my head. It wasn't attached. Okay, just one thing. Careful to your back. It's, you can hurt your back. It's a little rounded. So he's just make sure it's people flat. making them take their headphones out now. Excuse me. I just need uh, just some help to get the weight up. And in case, I just, you know, just in case for safety. But I should be good. I mean, it's, uh, there's, um, eventually nothing happens for so long that he starts like throwing equipment around, uh, and makes yes, the employees yeah. come up and say, Hey, can you stop doing that? You're, you're disrupting. Yeah, exactly. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So based upon the success of that video, uh, Ben Shapiro and, uh, Jeremy Borg, do we know who wrote this, uh, movie? Um, it is only available on daily wire plus. And I don't know how much that costs to join, but if this doesn't inspire you to do uh, to join, uh, nothing will. And I, I'll tell you, we'll, we'll try and maybe uh, we'll do like a, a stream of it or something like that. I, I wonder how quickly the takedown would be. <laughs> but maybe we could put it on like Venmo or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just like yeah. Yeah, we'll send that out to members. Yeah. All right. Here is the uh, here is Lady Ballers. In a world where women's sports is being transformed. Transformed. The Daily Wire calls foul with the most triggering comedy of the year. Pause it. I just, I want to say as a wrestler, um, if those two people weighed the same, I'd be surprised. The way that uh, wrestling matches happen is that people are in the same weight class. So the the guy who is a foot and a half taller than the the woman there, w that wouldn't happen. Just I just want you to know. And, and and I should say, if it was two men and there was that weight differential, there'd also be a problem. Right. Uh, but just for clarification, Boring also wrote it along with a guy named Brian Hoffman, who doesn't have that many IMDb credits, and Nick Sheehan, who is a writer on, who has written for Shapiro's uh, products. So those guys really wrote it and Boring put his name on it. 
Well, maybe, but I mean, I, it, it, it's not like I'm not looking at this going like somebody. That's true. Yeah. Blank could never have written this. I mean, like, like I feel like I would if honestly, if Saul came back with this as an idea, I'd be like, well, you're 10, but yeah. All right. This is serious. Sports can be your pathway to a better life. Well, like yours. <laughs> Please don't steal my catalytic converter again. Winning matters. It's the key ingredient in becoming a winner. Maybe you should try it sometime. Are you gonna move? I am not. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. I know you're not a woman. Hey, you don't know how he identifies. If you can beat them. What do you know about the US Opens for the global games? You want us to compete as women. $5,000 prizes. My lover says you were a great coach back in the day. Join them. This is the way the world is now. My eight-year-old daughter told me all about it. So a guy can become a girl with no physical changes at all. Oh, that's called gender fluid. So I can be a woman on the court and a man in the bedroom. I can't believe it. Nice. You mean when you're sleeping? Yes. Coach? Nice. We could play yeah, just like what I Under what a sort of system is that uh, j uh, funny? Like, even, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just an editing problem, but yes. <laughs> Coach? Alex. We could play basketball. basketball. We'd have to get the whole team back together. It's time. We're in. I'm in. I'm in. To play. Lady Baldus. Man up. Like a girl. Guess what? I'm with her. Heroes. Day one of being a girl athlete. <laughs> I love being a girl. To sheroes. We could dominate every woman's sport. Running, swimming, soccer. I said sport, Felix. It's ladies basketball, boys. Nobody watches. Well, so, I mean, what's what sort of fascinating about that? That kind of gives it away a little it bit. It sort of there. does. But it's also like, wait, what? Why? What, what, like what, I, I mean, I get this is a comedic premise. Some guys are saying we could dominate women's sports. Why? If it's like, so irrelevant, and nobody like, watches. It's yes. Part of the <laughs> the joke is that nobody cares, and part of it is that we're going to do something that nobody cares about. I, I gotta. I'm gonna say I'm so triggered by this though. I get it's really prop. Well, it, it's funny because you know there's a lot of WNBA players who are like, oh yeah, with all the attention we've been getting on this stuff, you guys are really gonna gear up to be in the seats for this new season. It's like, oh yeah, they don't actually care about your sport. No, They're they just don't. attacking trans no, people. But, <laughs> but I, I, I'm most offended by how unfunny this trailer is. Now oh, I haven't seen the movie. Probably won't see the movie. Um, but let's let's continue on here. Also, women's sports are uh, growing uh, at a pretty fast clip. It's ladies basketball, boys. Nobody watches. Excuse me. Are these seats open? <laughs> ne never mind. Getting dunks. <laughs> and tucking trunks. <laughs> No, she didn't. Oh. Oh. You know, I, 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 I mean, tell me that that's not like, is that a like, black guys have? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think <laughs> this so. Is such you a, got a black guy here. Let's do a honestly, picture. And also, is, let's cut right to a Native American. <laughs> this is like a parody. This is like if Ken, Ken, and Ken. <laughs> were to do like to conceive of a movie this is what it would be this is what's so sort of fascinating about this it is so on the nose that's the problem with conservative comedy it is the most predictable thing in the world like embarrassingly predictable like I would be embarrassed to write this as a parody because it would be like that's so low-hanging fruit, dude. Can't you come up with something more sophisticated into parody, what they would do if they were doing this? God. 
That's the biggest I've ever seen on a lady. I don't care. Lady Bones. One can even be trans age now, which provides Sheelix with a wonderful opportunity to relive all the experiences that she missed out on in school. <laughs> Streaming exclusively on Daily Wire Plus, December 1st. Winners, 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 winners. The, I have to say, the most encouraging thing about that is it does look like they've spent some money on it. Yes, I, I'd say. And it does not look recoupable. <laughs> I'm going to make a prediction now. I'm going to go out on a limb. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to be making another movie like this. <laughs> um, unless it's already, like, you know, shot and maybe, you know, in the process of editing. I just don't think they're going to get, uh, you know, I would love to see the numbers on this one. If anyone finds a, a torrent of it, uh, do uh, put me in touch. I wonder how much, how much does it cost to go uh, Daily Wire Plus?